How is intelligent design compatible with the notion of descent with modification and universal common ancestry? Intelligent uh, design simply says that you think a particular system was planned and put together by some intelligent uh, agent. Uh, it does not say exactly how that was accomplished. Uh, for example, suppose that you came across a house at the bottom of a hill made of stones, and you wonder how that house was put together, and it turns out somebody just for fun had placed stones on a hillside in particular, in a very particular manner, and they, uh, at the top of the hill, they pushed one of the stones down, and it hit the other one, and hit the other one, they bounced off each other, and they all came together and miraculously assembled into a house. Now, that certainly is beyond most people's capability. Nonetheless, uh, and the point I'm trying to make is that just observing that a system was designed does not necessarily tell you uh, how the design was affected. You've got to uh, get more evidence for that. <clears throat> Intelligent design, I think, is a very strong conclusion. Um, but nonetheless, I, I think it's compatible, at least, with uh, the idea of common ancestry. Uh, one example I like to give is when a fertilized egg develops into a, a, an adult animal. Excuse me. Um, in the egg, the egg uh, is a single cell, uh, and when it goes on to divide, it can produce trillions of cells, all by common ancestry. They're all related to the first cell. The point is that <coughs> the animal is not produced by Darwinian natural selection. There is a pre-existing program in the fertilized uh, egg uh, to produce the full animal. One can at least imagine that uh, some analogous process uh, produced life uh, on Earth. That is that the information for the unfolding of life was pre-existing in either in some cell or in at least or in the environment or, or some uh, some arrangement of parts of the universe and gradually unfolded. Of course, this would take you know, enormous intelligence and, and great power and, and, and so forth to produce. Uh, and, but nonetheless, if there is such a being that has that power and intelligence, then we have to assume that that is at least a theoretical possibility. Now, whether the empirical evidence and evidence we find in the future uh, supports that or requires a more immediate production of, of, um, of complex uh, components is a question, uh, question for science to, to investigate.